because the saturated liquid and the vapor mixture so you know uh, from this figure here from this right hand side when vaporization starts so what is the condition vaporization state means some substance it will be liquid and some will be vapor that means it is actually combination of some saturated liquid and saturated vapor but the complex part here is if we actually want to analyze the properties of this mixture we need to know the proportion of this or the amount of this saturated liquid and saturated vapor so to um, analyze this we can introduce a new property called quality and we can define it by x so the quality is actually the ratio of the mass of the vapor uh, vapor mass and the uh, total mass and this total mass it is actually the mass of the liquid mass of the vapor we said mass of the liquid is mf we, we are using uh, the term f and for you know the vapor g and m is mass so it is mf and mg now uh, the thing is this quality it has a range 0 to 1 the 0 means it is saturated liquid that means it is 0 percent and the 1 means it is vapor that means it is 100 percent that system consists 100 percent uh, vapor that means it is 1 and 0 means it consists consists 0 percent liquid so that's it so now um, I'm trying to make this video uh, as short as possible because we actually want to drive the uh, expression for it, this mixture. So now um, let's say we can we can actually consider this is we know this is a mixture. So we have two system, one is saturated vapor and the liquid. So we do not know the the mass of is actually physically we do not know the mass of this. So we will assume this is some homogeneous mixture okay and the properties it will be average properties for this mixture so what we can do we can consider it is a tank like this so it consists of saturated vapor and we, we know the volume and we know the volume of the saturated liquid so then if we know this volume of this vapor and volume of this liquid then you know the the total volume you can say the total volume total volume it will be this Vf and Vg, so Vf plus Vg, that we can write. But for um, you know, uh, from the theories we know the average specific volume of a system. So I'm not writing a lot here. So the average specific volume of a system it is um, this average specific volume it is V over the mass. So if you divide the total volume by mass, then you will get the average specific volume. So from here we can say it is V equal V average into mass, isn't it? That we can write. So look, we got two different expression. One is this, volume equal this and volume equal this. So can I um, can I just write these two expression? Let's say this is equation one and this is equation two. Can I use these two expression? Uh, what what you can do here, look um, we can write it like this this v equal um, let's say this is m t that means the total mass and average volume this way so we have two different thing vapor and the liquid so can i say this is actually total volume so can i say it is actually the you know the the, the mass of um, the liquid m f and the volume of the liquid plus mg that means the mass of uh, vapor and the volume of vapor so this is it will be also the total uh, total volume so from this expression actually what we can write guys we can we can usually say okay this equal this kind of uh, let me write it down here m t and the volume average it is equal you know m f v f m g v g what i will do i will write it in a in a blank phase so here this is m f the volume average it is equal m f v f and m g v g 
this is uh, actually for that combination in the tank that what I showed you earlier. So now, what we know from the theory is the total mass mt it is equal the mass of liquid and mass of vapor, right? This is we got from the definition. So can I can I write it like this way? Let's say from this expression, can I write it m f it is equal m t minus m g. So from here, I wrote it like this way, and I I will give this equation number is let's say equation three. So previously we had two more equations, so I said it is equation three. I will substitute this value m f into this equation three. Okay. So what I will do? I will substitute that one. And the other thing is it is actually empty. Okay, it's it is empty. So now it will be it will be m t the average volume it is equal m f. So I will substitute that one. So it is empty m g and this is v f plus m g v g. So now what I will do I will um, divide this expression by you know m t because we need the average volume. So if we uh, divide m t in left and right hand side then what will happen we can eliminate this term okay so just as uh, okay sorry just a small correction it should be amt we need to multiply in the both hands in the same thing in the both side so then it, it will be left hand side it will be the v average and you see we can uh, we can eliminate this and this so it will be one minus it will be m g and m t over v f and here it is m g m t and v g so from the property definition you know from the property definition we know x equal mass of vapor and mass of total it is vapor means g and the total means t that means m g over m t it is equal x we, we know from the quality definition so we can say actually this value this is it is actually x so which means we can write it like this this average it is equal on minus x this is v f and it is x v g am i right yes so now we'll go to the next phase so we can say it is the volume ever as it is equal um, you see I will multiply it is v f minus x v f so it will be v f minus x v f plus you know, x v g I will do some simplifications um, kind of like this so it is v f plus let's say I will make this x is common term so it should be v g minus v f and this is the average or so you will see this is v f and x what we can write from here we can write it is the volume f and g it is um i will show you later on i will show you a graph and then you can see it is actually v f g it is um you know the the the, the volume just down of the dome for pt or pv tarp curve uh, diagram sorry PTPV diagram and it is actually the middle phase of the vapor and the uh, saturated liquid so we will discuss that one later so from here uh, okay so V average it is equal this and we are we are looking for the expression of X the quality so we can write it from here X equal you know, the, the volume average minus VF over v f g so this is actually the final term for the quality so we got this final term from the you know um, all of these calculations we will make a very simple equation here so now guys look this is actually the you, you will see this is the sorry look this is actually the detailed calculation here um, but 
I try to extend a little bit more here actually so I what I wanted to show you look this is actually a PV or TV diagram this point it is the critical point okay and you know this is the saturated line this is the uh, you know the vapor line saturated vapor line and this you can see the 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 this horizontal line it is actually the connection between this saturated liquid and saturated vapor so here actually x is it is you can see the ratio of a b and a c what is a b a b is this distance it is actually the let, let's say this is the average point this is the average value and this point it is b f this is actually v g so what i said this a c it is actually this v g you see minus v f this is actually that distance from here to here so uh, you will uh, if you go through the book i actually want to make this video you know short so you just go through the video and you will see the detailed calculation over there now if we want to make this expression or you know this expression as an standard expression so let's say we can consider this is for the internal and an internal energy and enthalpy so for internal energy internal energy we know this the symbol we usually define by u and enthalpy enthalpy you know um, for enthalpy it we usually define by Hayes so from this expression here can we write it like this can we write it like this um, it is actually in a state of V if we consider the internal energy we can say it is u average equal u f x u you know f d and if we consider enthalpy we can say Hayes average it is equal Hayes f x Hayes f d this is the same thing we c we will solve some problem so when we will calculate the internal energy then we can use this expression when we will calculate the enthalpy we can use this expression so if we want to make a, a specific you know um, what I should say let's say a um, general form of this expression so what we can say from so we have three look this is one expression for the volume this is one expression for the internal energy this is another one it is for enthalpy we can combine these three into a single one and we can write it is like the y average it is equal you know the y f plus you know the x y f g here what i said this is the final term this y average actually you can use this y as p volume u the internal energy and haze so you can replace you can replace this y okay you can replace this y by using this v u and a's and it will be this term and this average value it will be always this average value it will be always in between um, it will be always in between this vf and pg so actually it is the term final term okay this is the final term so that means this average value yeah you see actually what i wrote so far it is here so you can use this y as v u or haze and this average value it will be in between this like saturated liquid and saturated vapor phase so that's actually the the property uh, relation relations and what we did we try this total thing here so you can see this is the old clear uh, writings here but uh, here I just tried to expand um, yeah so I think that's it and we'll discuss this on during the lecture as well